Welcome back. Now it's time that we start working with KDevelop. So just follow me closely as I go through this example. So I'm going to go down here to the K and scroll up here to development, integrated environment, and then C slash C++. All right, so KDevelop is open. Now we're going to go to project. We're going to start a new project. Then from here, we're going to go uh, C++. We're going to bring this down by pushing the plus to make it a minus. KDE, bring this down. Scroll to the very last option, which is a simple KDE application. Now this is going to, by default, put all the source files in home slash user, and that's fine. Application name, we're going to call it calc, so do C-A-L-C. That's going to be the name of our application. So push next. The name, you can type in your name, your email address, and the version number. Uh, license, I'm going to go with a custom license, and then select next. Version control, next. Leave this blank, next, also leave this blank, finish. All right, so pay close attention to what we do here. I'm going to close this. Over on the right-hand side, there's this thing that says it's called Auto Make Manager. I'm going to select that, and I have my source files. Where, right here where it says Header, I'm going to bring this down, and I'm going to do a little bit of erasing real quick. I'm going to erase the files that the computer has gener generated for us because we're going to generate our own files. Do right-click, remove. And then also remove it from disk, OK. Calc C++, right click, remove, also remove it from disk, OK. So now I'm left with main.cpp. Double click on that and press F11 to get your line numbers up. I'm going to tell you to erase a couple of lines in here. Line number 16 is a comment. Erase that. Scroll down. OK, right where this comment ends, which should be line 39, erase all the way up to where it says calc star main window equals zero, which should be line 29. So erase all of that. And I'm going to bring this up a line and bring these out so that it looks all nice and pretty. And also args clear, get rid of that as well. And I'm going to also get rid of this comment across the bottom. So make your main.cpp look something like this, like what we just went through. Save it. All right, and then I'm going to close it. Inside the auto make manager, what I'm going to do now is right here where it says calc, right click, and then do add existing files. Inside here, I'm going to traverse to my desktop. So I'm going to select the home key, desktop, and then in here I have my Linux calculator. I have my GUI.UI, so I'm going to add selected and press OK. And it's going to ask you want to link it or copy it. I'm always partial to copying, so do copy. Great. So now what we have to do is generate some source code. So right here where it says GUI.UI, right click on it, go to subclassing wizard. And these are all the functions that we defined in the GUI in Qt Designer. So uh, the class name, name it the same name as your project name. So we'll call it calc. And then reformat source on the bottom left-hand corner. Click create. And then this one right here, I can just click OK. So it made, if I double click here on calc.cpp, it generated this file for me. So remember all these files, these functions that we created? Now we have space. I can close this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to compile it and we're going to see our GUI. It's not going to be working, but we're going to see it. All right, we're going to go up here to build, click. Scroll down here to where it says run auto make and friends and select that. This is going to take a few minutes, so just let it run its course. Once auto make and friends is, is uh, complete, I have a success here. Hopefully you have the same. Once that's complete, we're going to go back up to build. Go to scroll to the one right above it where it says run configure. I'm going to select that. And this is going to run through and it's going to check to see if our computer has everything that we need um, in order to compile this program. So let it run its course. It should be uh, a minute or so. All right, once configuring is done, come back up here to build. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here where it says build project and I'm going to select that. So now it's going to compile all the source files together link them all together. Success! So now, if I go to build and I do execute, watch what happens. That graphical that we that we made comes up. So it's ready for data. It just uh, doesn't work yet. We have to link all these buttons together. 
So run through, make sure that you catch up to this step, and then we'll get back together after that and start putting this thing together.